Maniacs, welcome back to the channel, your local bedhead here. We're going to be diving into Leprechaun 1993 by the Nostalgia Critic. Now, this actually is kind of a revisit because I had seen this episode a long, 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 long time ago. If you like this type of content, you maybe want to see me go back and watch more older Nostalgia Critic episodes and videos, maybe hit that like button, get this video up to over 100 likes, and I will go back and watch even more Nostalgia Critic horror reviews if you so wish. I love the Nostalgia Critic, one of my favorite content creators of all time. This is going to be a blast. I really feel bad I didn't really post much for St. Patrick's Day, so hopefully this makes up for that in a sense. First off and foremost, I should also say that Leprechaun 1993 is a fun, goofy, stupid movie. It is very, very stupid. But the reason why I enjoy it so much is because it's so self-aware of how stupid it really is. It carries a slight element of charm in there. Warwick Davis is, or Warwick Davis is actually classy as the Leprechaun character. I think he's a lot of fun. Uh, he's over the top. He's he, again goofy. He's exa he knows exactly what kind of movie he's in, and he's having fun doing it. And then everybody else, Mark Holton and everybody else, you know, they're always a blast to watch. I mean, and, and I know Jennifer Aniston doesn't really like to acknowledge that she was ever a part of this film. I think she wants to erase it from her filmography history. But at the same time, I'm like, why would you want to do that? Right. I mean, I understand that, you know, you're a classy A-list actor today, but you got to remember where you came from. Right. You got to remember that. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and dive into the video and I'll give you guys my thoughts. <laughs> Nostalgia-ween. Hello, I'm the cinema snob. And if you're like me, what's the first thing you think of when you think of Halloween? That's right, leprechauns. Most of you would connect this famous icon to St. Patrick's Day. Well, that's because most of you are sheep. Halloween is the holiday to be associated with this mythical creature. Yeah. Don't believe me? Then just check out Leprechaun. Finally, somebody sees these creepy bastards for the little demon fucks that they are. This movie realizes that four-foot men in green hats, pointy shoes, and high-pitched voices are the epitome of fear. And we're gonna review this little masterpiece right here today. Uh, excuse me, what do you think you're doing? Hmm. I'm the cinema snob. I'm the cinema snob. No, I'm the cinema snob. No, I'm the cinema snob. <sighs> <sighs> Well, okay. What do you say we review this anus turkey together? I would <laughs> like that. <laughs> so it starts out with Warwick Davis as the leprechaun, looking about as scary as a midget Lady Gaga. Try as they will. And try as Jesus. they will. No, dude, look. Look, this scene right here, this exact moment, is probably the most St. Patrick's Day moment in the entire movie. For me personally, just the rainbow coming down, he's counting his gold, he's sitting there. I mean, it that captures the holiday quite, quite well, in my personal opinion. It's just so St. Patrick's Day-esque. It really gets you excited to watch this movie. It really does. And I know, look, I know that Nostalgia Critic didn't like this movie, and obviously this was no surprise. If you know his taste in films, this is no surprise that he did not like this movie. It is obviously... It's for a specific audience, you know. A certain audience will get a kick out of the get a kick out of it, but another certain audience will won't be too fond of it. Don't live through the night. Seriously, this movie is so unbelievably not scary that it just deepens my voice. Deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper. <laughs> God damn it, I'm sick of this shit! How the hell you do that voice? Years of drinking Crystal Pepsi, my friend. Dick. All right, Dick. so as the credits roll, we see a guy named Dan O'Grady comes home from Ireland to North Dakota. Must have been that a big gold. Ireland to North Dakota rush. However, he manages to bring a bag of gold. I caught him, I caught leprechaun, he told me where his gold now, is. Now, leprechaun, I caught him and made him show me where his gold is. You know, I'm surprised they're still showing the credits. After that line, I assume everybody would just want their name taken off. <laughs> but faster than you can say, Bikora! The leprechaun appears out of the suitcase and attacks the old lady. I want me gold now! Oh, God, no! oh, come on, 
dog. He didn't kill her. She's just a fucking clod. Your wife makes a fine pot of tea, Danny me boy. But luckily, Danny boy has Irish. I'll give you either, more than gold. Clover, which I suppose weakens him. Yeah. I'll give you more than gold. <laughs> Your bullet won't stop me forever. I'll keep coming back. Wait a minute, what did we miss? Bullets can't hurt him, but then he suddenly passed out? Like, why was there even an edit there? They just dissolved to the exact same scene. I want to know, was that him actually picking up Warwick Davis, or was that just a, a dummy? Like, a, just a dummy that he picked up and put in that chest. I'm kind of curious now, was that actually Warwick Davis that he picked up? But, yeah, I always found this moment to be weird. Weird. Like, bullets actually knocked him out? I, I just, all right. I mean, the rest of the... You got to look at the whole franchise. Leprechaun is one of those... It doesn't really line up too well. And the rest of the series makes little to no sense. I mean, first, the Leprechaun's one weakness is, like, a four-leaf clover. Then it's, like, destroying his gold. You know, burning it, and then he'd burn. If you have the gold, he can't touch you. But then it, like... It does not stay consistent with its kind of... It's mythos or like it's theories and it's explanations on certain things when it when it's regarded to the leprechaun character like it, it OK, uh, I thought, you know, four leaf clovers killed it. All right. Well, if we destroy the gold then should not, you know, get rid of the leprechaun. And but the, for some reason, this leprechaun keeps coming back. So there's really no way to kill this leprechaun. And I think I think I, it got a little annoying after a while um, with that. But, you know, they're all cash grabs, right? They're, I mean, that's that's the whole thing. Leprechauns 1, 2, I mean, Leprechauns 2, 3, 4, 5, and all of the rest of them are just kind of cash grabs. They knew exactly what they were doing. They knew that none of it made sense. They just wanted to bring the character back so they can make more money. Power of this clover will keep you in there forever. So O'Grady nails the little guy in a box, and trust me, that's not as exciting as it sounds. But before he can light the fucker on fire, I guess he has a heart attack or something. Burn in hell, you little green bastard! <laughs> Love that line. If that happened to him, whatever happened to the box? No, it's okay. He's being looked after by top men. Who? Top men. Imagine if they, those all had leprechauns in them. Cut to a mere ten years later as we see one of the main characters played by- Can anybody answer me this question? What is the opening theme to Leprechaun right there? There's a scene where when the car's driving down the road, you know, at ten years later after the whole opening, there's like that ten years later uh, logo pops up on screen, and there's a song about four-leaf clovers that pops up, and I never could find what that song was called. I don't know where it is, There's I just can't find it. Jennifer Aniston? She's in this movie? Yeah. yeah. Jennifer Aniston's old career is pretty much like David Schwimmer's current career. All right, just keep the friends jokes to a minimum. I make no promises. It turns out Aniston and her father, Randy Travis here, are staying in North Dakota for a while. And of course, they're staying in the old house where Darby O'Gill's gangbanger is. <laughs> the fuck? I get a hotel somewhere in town, and you can come visit. Hey, I'll <laughs> pay for it. Honey, you really think money's all you need to get by in this? All right, does anybody know the channel Drum Dums? Lee McCoy, tell me that the dad character does not look a little bit like him. Just a little bit. You really think money's all you need to get by in this life? I mean, well, kind of. she is Jennifer Aniston. So she runs into one of the house painters, played by Jim Carrey Bacon here, as he's part of a painting company called Three Guys That Paint. You'll never guess what they do. Paint? No, make obnoxious comedy relief. Boy, I could go for a beer right now. You're too little to drink. Don't you ever, ever drink that stuff. Hey, Ozzy, what's this? <laughs> I gotcha. Oh, let go. Please tell me they die. I'll pray for us Jeez. Both. No. So that Dude, I'm a big fan of Mark Holton. I, I fucking love that guy. Of course, my favorite role of his is, you know, Pee Wee. I mean, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. He is hysterical as Francis. He's one of the most underappreciated actors, I think, out there. Easy. Bar none. I, like, I know p there's people out there who kind of just throw him to the side. I genuinely find this guy to be extremely underappreciated. I really do. 
That little twerk who I swear is the long-haired version of Ness is named Alex. Wow. Well, you might remember from Mr. He Nanny. really does look and like Ness, doesn't he? don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. Never saw it. Good. And that big tub of idiot who's dressed like a race car bed? He's named Ozzy, played by Mark Holton. Francis. So we see Jennifer Aniston go downstairs to give Jim Carrey bacon some juice. Wait, who dropped that? How did that even fall on her? I don't know, I just thought we were shouting animals. No, only I may do that. Oh, okay. So after Anderson heads back up, Ozzy heads back down, swearing he heard something. He accidentally knocks the four-leaf clover Yeah, that's over, something. That something is a little girl singing songs, right? I think the first part of it, she was singing songs. And, yeah. It's ye creepy. Turn back his powers. Hey Tubby, hey Tubby, you got a light for an old leprechaun's pipe? Well, it's about as good as most Irish cooking. I need me gold. So wow. I tell them all about that the leprechaun, but of course harsh? nobody believes him. Hey, hey, look up in the sky. So what? Okay, this is probably one of the lines that I. C Every time I see a rainbow outside, like after it rains, I automatically think of this line. It's just a stupid rainbow. It's a magic rainbow. What, Ozzy? It's just a rainbow. Wait, it's a magic, it's a magic rainbow. rainbow. Jack, can it make this movie good? No, no, no. They say it's a magic rainbow, not a miracle rainbow. So they follow the rainbow to where O'Grady hit the gold when Blimpox here actually swallows one of the coins. My guess. I'm sorry. I know I'm pausing it too much. Did anybody find it kind of weird that the gold magically appeared even knowing it was just supposed to be hidden there? Like, why wasn't it just sitting there? Why did it have to, like, disappear but then reappear? Has anybody ever... Uh, that, am I the only one? Oh. thought there was chocolate inside. Do you know what this means? We can get you an operation. For what? To make you smart. See, we can go to the hospital and have them operate and fix your brain. What is this, Clovers for Algernon? No operation can make you smart. Hell, if it could, the producers of this movie will have gotten it ages ago. Meanwhile, Aniston tries to help paint the house while the leprechaun tries topping off her morning. Nathan, come on, what are you doing? So the leprechaun attacks both Aniston and her father as they try to get them to the Ooh. hospital. Hell of a bite. Hey, is it me, or do you totally want to see a sitcom called Three Guys That Paint? Yeah, I could actually see that happening. Coming this fall to CBS. One's a good-looking painter, one's a bumbling doofus, and the other is the boy with the heart of gold. Top it all off with a psychotic killing leprechaun, and you have the hit family sitcom of the year, Three Guys That Paint. Coming this fall on CBS. Welcome home. So as they head to the hospital, the leprechaun finds a mode of transportation to follow them. <laughs> it's self-aware. It knows. That's right, folks. This is what's going to try and scare you throughout the majority of the Yeah, film. but they know. A little guy on a tricycle. Hey, at least it's more dignified than playing an Ewok. Look, so they take... Look, you say what you want about this movie, and that's fine. It... It's not a good movie, but the f the point of the the fact of the matter the fact is, it was self aware. It knew exactly how stupid it was, and that's when they had fun with it. Yeah, there's some moments in here where they try to be kind of scary, which you have to if you're making a horror film. But overall, do you really think the director was sitting there like, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna film a scene where these guys are all throwing shoes at the leprechaun, and he stops doing what he's doing to wash and scrub the shoes and like brush them off. Do you really think he was make he was taking that seriously? This whole process was taken. No, it was not. No way. One of the coins to an expert who tells him that the gold is real. He keeps the coin overnight to analyze it some more when he senses something wicked this way comes. Wicked or wicked? Does it matter? Oh, don't act like you can build up suspense movie. You're called Leprechaun. And here we finally see what this pot of shit looks like. Really? 
That's the scary makeup he's been given? That's not the least bit frightening. I know, he was more intimidating in that kid's film, A Very Unlucky Leprechaun. In fact, he's actually scarier looking in that film. You're right. He actually looks more scary in the children's film than he does in the horror film. In fact, did we get the right version? So he kills off the store owner by, get a load of this, a fucking pogo stick. Really? That's the leprechaun's weapon of choice? Hey, don't laugh. My father went the same way. No! So the leprechaun decides it's time for an upgrade. He goes from a small childish tricycle to a small childish Barbie car. Woo. Nothing but the finest for this dignified character. This may end up killing me, but I just gotta know. Why don't you take that ridiculous mask off and step out of the car? It's not nice to make fun of a leprechaun. Is that so? So now you're a leprechaun, huh? What else is he? <laughs> Next you're gonna tell me you're gonna end up in space or in the hood. <laughs> so the leprechaun attacks the cop as he runs away to try and hide. I don't blame him. I don't think I could face the world knowing I was beat okay. up by a melt. This might be weird, a weird criticism, but if I had to change anything about the Leprechaun character, it would be the over-consistent usage of the... <laughs> like, that, that stuff, to me, was a little too cringe. No offense to Warwick Davis, obviously, love him as a character, but that might have been the one thing I think he didn't need. Like, when he hits the thing, he's like... <laughs> I just... We don't need that. We don't need it. Willow. Oh, Tom Bombadil is a merry fellow. Bright blue is his jacket and his boots all yellow. This thing used to creep me out as a kid. Oh, he throws a stick at it? Is that really what they teach these guys when they come across a supernatural being? Throw a stick at it? Sarge, Sarge, I got a question. What is it, Callahan? What if, that was just totally hypothetical, what if I was attacked by a psychotic killer leprechaun that was trying to kill me? Yeah, I don't know. Throw your stick at it. Throw my stick at it, right. What if it's the Easter Bunny? Get out of here! Shoot it, but make sure Please, it's wabbit season. Don't let me die while I'm next to your crotch. He snaps his neck? Really? I don't know why. I guess I thought he would come up with a more imaginative way of killing this guy. Well, they had to keep it somewhat realistic. Now, where's the fuck of gold? So he goes back to the house looking for his goal as he comes across a cereal called Lucky Clovers. Now, I can't imagine why the real Lucky Charms wouldn't want their bright and colorful image attached to this dark and gory horror film. Hoo -hoo! Well, if you need to know the answer, it's magically do. Thank you. No problem. So he goes into the closet, pulling out all the shoes in the house and shining them. Why? I guess he has a shoe fetish. The others return home to find the place in shambles. This is crazy. What the hell's going on here? Well, it could have been a bear. They sometimes come down from the hills looking for food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does not take a genius to realize that a bear would not be opening doors, walking in, cleaning shoes, putting them on the table. That is the silliest thing there's no way that was taken seriously on set no yeah. way bears are often known for eating food and shining shoes yeah there's gonna be a so few Jim moments Curry like Bacon that goes yeah. out to inspect yeah. the place when he's caught in a bear trap that the leprechaun set up this results in a pretty embarrassing fight scene <laughs> Jesus, this choreography is making Dolomite look good. Awesome gu gunshots, though. obvious dumbass line in three, two, one. Nathan, that was no fucking bear. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alex, be careful. Oh good, send the little boy out where the dangerous leprechaun is. Nothing but straight arrow ethics for these people. Oh yeah, 
He can appear in a safe, but he can't get through a car window. What is the extent of his lame-ass powers anyway? What the heck is he doing in there? It's Mario Kart. Dead race to Oh, yeah, no shit. It does look like Mario Kart, doesn't it? Don't forget it? to hit pedestrians to get the golden coins. Oh, you a mean motherfucker. Truck made out of styrofoam? My Hot Wheels don't flip over that easy. <laughs> Wait, that dog must have sharp hinges. They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together ooky, the Adams family. So Aniston finds out where the boys hid the gold as she goes out to return it to the leprechaun. Oh, you ever worked one of those things before? Nope. It's okay. Just pretend like you're shooting Brad Pitt. Fuck. <laughs> Is that me gold? Look. What the hell are you? I believe. There's actually moments, like genuine moments. I know they said that the, the makeup doesn't look all that scary. There are actual moments where the makeup looks fucking actually intense. And right there, look at that. Look at his shot right here. He looks actually pretty intense and creepy. If you saw that come up towards you, yeah, you would not be so giddy. Epicon me, dear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess that is kind yeah. of a stupid question. So he counts his gold over and finds that one coin is still missing. That's the piece that Ozzy has in his stomach. They've got me coin. No one takes a leprechaun's gold. I don't even get it. What's he gonna do with the gold? It's not like he could just walk into a place and buy a yacht. Uh, he'll eBay it. What, with gold? He'll cash it in. What, dress like that? He'll get a disguise. What kind of disguise? Just shut up, okay? Alex, you gotta get some ice for Ozzy's ear and boils up some water. Maybe he just wants his gold, man. He likes it. Zool, Bigora, Zool! So he attacks them some more as they try to call for help. Imagine, though. They figure out the only person who can stop him is Dan O'Grady, the guy from the beginning, who apparently is in an old folks' home down the street. But how are they gonna get away from Rumple Shit Skin? Yeah, get man, here. They just throw shoes at him to shine. Uh, uh, he really has to shine every shoe that he sees? What's wrong Look, with he dirtied that one he again. Has OLD, obsessive leprechaun disorder. Yeah, it's pretty bad. They get to the hospital only to discover, what a shock, the leprechaun is there waiting for him. She tries to get away, but, oh no, the leprechaun has a wheelchair. You will take me seriously. So she comes across the O'Grady guy in the elevator, or rather on the elevator, as he tells her how to defeat him. A four-leaf clover, freshly plucked from the clover patch. Beside the well, you gotta put it on his body. You have to touch him, and then you can kill him. So what you're saying is, I had to look over a four-leaf clover that I overlooked before. Oh, Jesus Christ. So of course she comes across a bunch of clovers as she tries to find one with four leaves. <laughs> Little girls shouldn't look for four-leaf clovers. Is that a saying now? It's a line, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, there's... I just don't get how we're supposed to find this guy scary. Oh, it can work. Just imagine him as a child molester. That'll make him look a little spooky. Actually, yeah, it kind of does now that you think, ah, uh, yeah. Her friends Dude, knock him out. Is the gunshots in this movie really are well done. No one talks about the small things like that, but they're well done, yeah. They finally find a four-leaf clover in the field, and it even glows. I'm surprised they didn't find that earlier. But the leprechaun attacks Ozzy, trying to get his final But you know, no, 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 we, we did, we had to go. 
But you gotta believe. Look, I told you. Fortunately, the little boy pops up saying probably the most epic line in this movie. Fuck you, Lucky Charms. Fuck you, Lucky Charms. <laughs> wow, that was cosmic. Yeah, didn't think you'd hear a line that awesome in this movie, did you? But you did, and it's a masterpiece. I of can't writing. tell if you're taking your serious you or not. Charms. Seriously, that shit is worthy of Schwarzenegger. Yeah, it is. La vista, baby. Though this does raise the question: How the hell would he even know what Lucky Charms is if they have oh. Lucky Clovers in this world? Because when you think about it, it doesn't really make sense with the. I really shouldn't be questioning this, should I? No, you should not. It's still cosmic. Yeah, no, it's 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 a pretty damn good line. I mean, it's pretty damn recognizable, right? Everybody thinks of Leprechaun, they think of that line. Fuck you, Lucky Charms. Yeah, yeah, it sounds a very direct message to a certain cereal company who probably turned them down. So just when you think it's dead, love the this fucking effect right here. Look at that. Goblin refuses to die. Art this looks like a job. <laughs> <for Sleepless>. <laughs> <laughs> That was one unstable leprechaun! I guess their blood is made out of fucking nitroglycerin. So the leprechaun is destroyed, the people are safe, and they never have to fear about seeing him again. That is, until the cum-guzzling whore, known as the Hollywood sequel, takes over and pimps it out like a brothel. So that was Leprechaun. I didn't like it. No, me neither. I mean, do we really have to go into great detail why this movie is bad? The plot's no. ridiculous, the characters are morons, and it's a fucking leprechaun! I don't know why they thought a little green man would be frightening, but he's not. He's simply not. The whole plot for this movie sounds like a Will Ferrell scenario. Nothing about it sounds like a legit horror movie. I kind of want to see it's that. It's just magically despicable. And that's all for Nostalgia Ween. Thanks for watching, and thanks for joining me, Cinema Snub. No, thank you for... No, this was a giant waste of time. Dickhole. You're a dickhole! I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it so you don't have to. <laughs> you're still a dickhole. You're a dickhole! No, you're a dickhole! You're a dickhole! Dickhole! Dick! You know... Yeah... That theme song, though. You know what's pretty good? Fuck you, Lucky Charms. Yeah, I wanted to wait for that last little bit. They always play uh, one of the quotes from the movie. All right, so that was Leprechaun 1993 from Nostalgia Critic. The movie, yeah, again, it's not good. It's just not, simply put. It's just not a good movie. However, I watch it every year. I watch it every year because I find so much enjoyment out of it. There is a level of charm in there that, though I can understand not wanting to recognize or not at least even acknowledging it, I still believe it's still there. It's definitely also very nostalgic. Uh, to, you know, It is nostalgic for me, so that also is another part of why I do put it on. But most people I know watch Leprechaun every year. Oh my god. Every year for St. Patrick's Day. Because, it, it, it again, it's charming. The, the performances, though, are very run-of-the-mill, <laughs> very just, oh, passable performances, and the character decisions are not smart at all. And then also, I, I always found it to be a crime when the dad character would just disappear from the movie entirely. The dad never comes back after he gets bit, and I always found that weird because I actually liked his character. I was like, this actually could be a really cool dynamic between him and his daughter, but it never really goes anywhere. He get, he just gets bit and just gets thrown out of the, out of the picture. And I think that was kind of a crime. I think they even should have brought him back for, like, the sequel or something. Hell, you, you should give him another shot, actually, because he didn't get a chance. Um, I, I'm, I'm a fan of Mark Holton. I actually kind of like the character of Ozzy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Warwick Davis, again. Yeah, the performance maybe cut a few things out here and there. There are some moments with the makeup that look really cool. There are also some moments with the makeup that look kind of meh. But... Overall, it's fun. It's just a fun time. I would literally give this movie probably about a 6 out of 10. It, it's, yeah, nothing I would, like, go home raving about, but it's also one I'm like, you know what, I actually 
I like it. So, um, anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think down below. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and I do appreciate it. If you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff, get this video up to 100 likes, and I'll do more. Guys, until next time, take care. If you caught a chance, three cards, starts is through. You won't be mended.